Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, welcome again to another segment again, the media segment. I am your host, Carl Mead again. I am also the founder of Podium Broadcasting Network. And I also thank this one, Rina Pay, for, for that news this morning. Great news passing right through gospel news. And you know, we are now embarking, we are embarking on a fun drive to finish our new facility. We are going to build a facility right now for about 300 seats. A studio, not a church. It's a studio that where we can come and have interaction. But again, I'm coming again over the, the process of favor. You know, favor have a process. Like how everything we do it have a process. You know, everything we are part of, there is a process. God is a processing God. We have to know, we have to know how to process our life. And processing is, is a matter of a strategy and understanding where you are, how to obtain things from God. But so when you talk about processing, you have to, you have, what are the criteria of processing uh, God's favor? You have to know about mercy. You, you, you have to have mercy, you have to have mercy in you. You know, God must have mercy, you know. And you, and you have to be also truthful to yourself. And that is what makes possess uh, accountable to obtain favor. And I thank God again that uh, I've gone through the process of my life, my wife and I, my family, go through a, a, a process that God takes us through a whole, different, a whole different legacy, a whole different walk of life. That we have to go through some things and, and come out wounded and beaten and and, and, and get healed, you know, and get fixed. Some of, some of us go through a process and we get damaged. And, you know, like Jacob. Jacob went through a process to get blessed. He had to go and wrestle with an angel. Jacob had to wrestle with an angel. Because why? He said, and he said, he said a holy angel. He said, I would not let you go until you bless me. He won that blessing, but the process, you have to go to is to hold that angel and don't let go. And sometimes you, you, you're so determined of, of, of what it is you want to obtain from God, you have, to, you have to hold on to it. I hold on to salvation. I hold on. I hold on to holiness. I hold on to I hold on. Even though I'm stumbling, I'm holding on. Because it's a process. You know, and to get the post, to get God in your life, it's a process. You can't walk in God like that just as a rich. No, you have to work out your salvation. Work out your you, you, think you have to work out. You know, you cannot grow overnight. Growth is a process. Even prosperity, you can't come in God and prosper in twenty-four hours. You can't come in God. I want, I want to have your needs met like that one time. You have to come in God and go through a process. It's a process, and, and in the process, you need some principles to work with, you know. And sometimes the principles, could, it, it, it looks like, you know, look like a tough. But those principles will bring you to obtain God's mercy. And you have to, so when you have to wear it, you have to have it on. There are principles I put on, I don't take it off. I hold on to principles. I don't, I wear, the, I wear it, I wear it, I wear those principles because why? I want to be processed right, you know. And I'm sharing this whole week about supernatural favor, but it's a process, you know. I did not get favor overnight. I didn't get favor, I didn't get favor, no for no. Favor, I, I, it took years, I had to go through some wicked, some, some well, some well licking. I will go through some beating and everything. And yet still, I depend on God. When you go through that process, you have to de depend on God. Don't ever stop depending on God. God is always accessible. But what you're going through, cry out to God. Stick with God. It's a process. You know, and that favor will find you. That favor will find you. When you go through a process, and you understand the process, favor will find you. So you don't go looking for favor, you know. It will find you. Hey, I tell you, I'll be sharing this week about favor finding you. When favor find you, 
You know, that means it was sent by God. It didn't just show up and say, I reached. No, it was sent by God. God locate you. And when God locates you, you can't escape God. You have to go through a process and do the things and think the way that God can locate you and you could find favor coming your way. You know, you know, and I thank God that many, many of us do understand this principle. It's a principle. Jacob understand that. Jacob had to wrestle with the angel, you know. I'm sharing tonight again, you know, how favor does work. Jacob had to wrestle. All the, and when he done wrestle, you know, God said, go, go back. Go, you know, go, go back to your brother. Go, go back. Go, come, go back and face your brother. Go, go back and face him. Sometime when that process is complete, you have, to, you have to say sorry. You have to apologize. You have, you, have to, you have to go back to people who you offend. Go back, you know. And many of us don't want to go back, but Jacob had to go back and face the men. You know, and your brother would be an angry, brother. And God said, No, you get blessed. Go back and face your brother. Take up your wife and then go back, go back, go back. It's a process. You're running from something, but you run back to it. Sometimes we're running from things, we don't run back to. I stop running. My running days are over. So I don't want to go back. You know, many of us running, 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 running. You don't run from God, you're going to end up going back to God. This pandemic has brought so much people back to God. You will be surprised, you know, you know, 60% of people in 2020 that serving God is those who came back to God, you know. They did not, they didn't born again, you know. They just, they just come back to God. You know, they rededicate their life. And if you are going through right now a, a, a dark spot in life now, learn to rededicate your life. Say, God, I'm back. I'm back. God, I'm back. God, accept me. I'm back. Rededication is a process. If you want that favor, you have to know to rededicate yourself back with people and friends and, and ministries. And, you know, I talked to one of my sons yesterday. You know, my one of my daughter, daughter he, he fought through the crack because of vaccine and COVID-19 and, and he fought through. God said, call him and let him know, wake up. Because why? It's a process. You know, and everything is a season. All, all seasons have processes. You know? And I thank God for the season I have gone through. And even what I'm going through right now, man, I am going through some things right now, man, through this pandemic here. I am going through a process right now, but I will come out why? Because I have, I have certain things hanging around my neck. You know, God has given me some things and it hung around my neck. And around my neck now, I'm going through a process in life now. And I know I will come out. I know I will win. I know I'll be victorious. Because why? It's a process. And God will manifest that season. You know? And we have to understand this. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3 says, Proverbs 3 says, Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. You see, Mercy and truth can forsake you when you refuse to go through the process of life. When you, when you refuse to face challenges, when you refuse to complain about what God is doing, when you refuse to be a part of God's movement, mercy and truth will relieve you. There is no mercy with those who run from God. There is no mercy with those who run from God. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. I thank God whatever I'm going through, mercy and truth will not forsake me. Mercy and truth will not leave me. I, hang, I have mercy and truth hanging on my shoulders. Hanging in my head. Mercy and truth lock me up. Mercy and... I have God mercy locked down. I have God mercy and I have Christ as truth locking me and it will not forsake me. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them about thy neck, the Bible says. 
It says bind them. That means hook it up. The word bind, carry it in. The word bind, have it, have, have it in the place between your body and your neck and your head. Your neck is a place that where you have to understand principles. You have to be able to understand changes. You have to understand dimension and direction. Let it say, bind them about thy neck. The neck here is your ability to understand the process. Let not mercy and truth forsake you, forsake you, forsake you. Bind them about whatever you're going through. Do not forget mercy. Do not forget truth. Bind them. That means make, when you have bind them, it belongs to you. You have access to mercy. You have access to truth. Because what you have to understand it's a process of favor. I know what I'm going through. I know what I'm doing. I know God what I'm doing. God know all my secrets, all my, all my God know everything. God know my, my, my in, my out, my heart, my foot. God know what I have, my mind, my, my thoughts. Because why? Mercy and truth is there. It, 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 it says, bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thy heart. The table of thy heart is the center of your emotions. The table of your heart is found in the center of how you handle things. In the center of how you repent. In the center of how you ask forgiveness. Bind them upon thy heart. The table of your heart. That means is this, the table must be in the center. And the table is the center of your emotions. The center of your mind. The center of your will. The center of your intellect. He says, write them there. Make it be a part of you. Mercy and truth must be a part of you. It must be on your neck. It must be, it must be in your heart, your character. Mercy and truth will always bring you out. Because like mercy here, truth here. And you cannot forsake it. When you have mercy and truth, and it's on your neck, and in the table of your heart, the center of your emotions. Verse 4 says, verse 4 says, So shall thou find favor. So shall thou find favor. Find favor. Hey, are you looking for favor? Well, I thank God, favor found me. I didn't find favor. Favor from me because why? Mercy and truth. And I write them things in my heart. And favor find me. So shall thou find favor and good understanding. You have to understand that life is not going to last forever. You have to understand you will not live forever. You can do what you want. You will not live forever. One day you will die and leave his earth. Columbus died, Reagan died, Bush died, all, all, them, all, them, all them guys died, man. Everybody, the only person who didn't die was Jesus Christ. He, he died, but he wasn't dead. He died, but he wasn't dead. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. In the sight of God. So when you, when you have to have favor... In the sight of God, you got to walk with mercy. You got to walk with truth. It must be upon your neck, and you must also have it in the table of your heart. And when you have that man favor, the God kind of favor will find you right where you are. Will find you. I am going to talk about favor this whole week, and then people coming out tomorrow morning, tomorrow night. You know, man, they're coming tomorrow. It will find you. I thank God today that favor will find you where you are. I want to prophesy right now. Somebody right now need favor your family, your daddy, your mother, your house, uh, your mother and daddy is saved, and, and all kinds of stuff. No, and they, they, they give you pressure. You, go, you get saved. You know, you get saved, daddy ain't saved, daddy vaccine ain't saved. So the one they want I know, daddy want favor. But he got to have mercy and truth. When you have mercy and truth, and you have the heart table 
exposed, you will be able to find favor and good on that you'll understand that God has selected you, that God chose you. He says here, so shall thou find favor and good understanding. Where? Where do you want your understanding? In the sight of God. 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 And I want in God's sight, I would have understanding. I don't want it in front of man force. I want it under God force. God will understand. And I, it's a process I'm going through right now. I will be weak here and strong here. I might be strong here, weak here. I might lack here and need here. But God said it's a process. And that process now, I have to have good understanding. I had to understand the season and time what is taking place. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Well, I know the man ain't easy though. To find favor with man, unless God ain't instruct that favor, or unless God and create that favor, or unless God and place that favor, or unless God and give you that favor with man, you will never have understanding with man. Never have understanding. You have to first have good understanding with God. Before God can put a man in your area, a man in your walk, or a person, a woman, the word man, it means person, right? Before God can give you favor with a person, you have to have good understanding. You have to understand why you want favor. Why should God give you favor? What will you do with favor from God if you don't know why you need it? I am building right now a, a whole city right now. I need money. But I can't just go and beg for money. I don't beg for money. But God can give me favor with Bill Gates. <laughs> if God wants, he can give me favor, you know, with, with, uh, with all those big guys. God can, God can give you favor. He can put you in the eyes of a person and make a person understand. For God you live. And for God you will die. Favor is not fear. It is just. I share this morning. And when God gives you favor, it comes with understanding. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God first. It's God first. In the God first. Never seek favor from people unless you know it came from God. And I'm coming to more again mid again to tighten that script here. God bless you and watch it again. Favor is coming away. I prophesy right now much favor upon you. Much love. Tune in for our Nugget segment at 9 a.m. from Monday to Friday for compact revelation, short pitch statements with deep meaning. In a world where news never seems to be good, back to view from February, PBN's Gospel News. News that brings to you biblical concepts local and international. The latest coverage of God's people, you see it first on PBN. We make sure you get the right updates each time, every time, at 10 a.m. Monday to Friday. I am Runa Peer bringing you good news from Podium Broadcasting Network. Are you excited? Well, I'm excited. Get ready as I come to you with Boys to Men every day at 11 a.m. on Podium Broadcasting Network. With me, your host, Alex George. 
the word of God given to the man of God over 25 years ago. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, The young people have gone astray. The elders of this time have not been good examples. The church has not prepared for the attacks that shall come upon the young generation of this time. My people, I have chosen you to go forth and prepare a place that can gather my people together. And you shall speak that which I have spoken in your spirit, that they may fear me and do my will. It shall be a place that thy people shall have for all their possession, that which one shall enjoy in this life. It shall be a place that they learn spiritual warfare and obey my word and my will. My people, write it down. This day shall be the birth of thy vision. And I answered, Yes, Lord. Hey, this is Naomi. Hope you're locked in and ready for that fresh revelation with me at 4 p.m. sharp, one-on-one -on -one with Niobe 101. Don't miss it. Tuning live for Ever Increasing Voice Ministry. This is the teaching ministry of Carl and Julie Mead and has been birthed over 20 years now and have bring changes to many lives. If you want your faith to grow and to starve your doubts to that, tune into these broadcasts on Podium Broadcasting Network, where we are getting the people heavenly ready. Hey, this is Naomi. Hope you're locked in and ready for that fresh revelation with me at 4 p.m. sharp, one-on-one -on -one with Naomi 101. Don't miss it. In a world where news never seems to be good, back to view from February, PBN's Gospel News. News that brings to you biblical concepts, local and international. The latest coverage of God's people, you see it first on PBN. We make sure you get the right updates each time, every time. At 10 a.m. Monday to Friday, I am Rena Peer bringing you good news from Podium Broadcasting Network. Hey, this is Naomi. Hope you're locked in and ready for that fresh revelation with me at 4 p.m. sharp, one-on-one -on -one with Niobe 101. Don't miss it. live for ever increasing voice ministry. This is the teaching ministry of Carl and Julie Mead and has been birthed over 20 years now and have bring changes to many lives. If you want your faith to grow and to starve your doubts to that, tune into these broadcasts on Podium Broadcasting Network, where we are getting the people heavenly ready. excited? Well, I'm excited. Get ready as I come to you with Boys to Men every day at 11 a.m. on Podium Broadcasting Network with me, your host, Alex George. given to the man of God over 25 years ago. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, The young people have gone astray. The elders of this time have not been good examples. The church has not prepared for the attacks that shall come upon the young generation of this time. My people, I have chosen you to go forth and prepare a place 
that can gather my people together. And you shall speak that which I have spoken in your spirit, that they may fear me and do my will. It shall be a place that thy people shall have for all their possession, that which one shall enjoy in this life. It shall be a place that they learn spiritual warfare and obey my word and my will. My people, write it down. This day shall be the birth of thy vision. And I answered, Yes, Lord. Tune in for our Nugget segment at 9 a.m. from Monday to Friday for compact revelation, short pitch statements with deep meaning. Are you excited? Well, I'm excited. Get ready as I come to you with Boys to Men every day at 11 a.m. on Podium Broadcasting Network. With me, your host, Alex George. God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Today is for me is a kind of historical day. I, uh, I believe that God, timing is right. And I, I doing this because of history. As you may be aware, I, I belong to, I'm the pastor of the World Outreach Church Ministries. I'm also the founder of Podium Broadcasting Network. I'm also the, the owner of um, JC's restaurant, JC Supermarket, and First Choice, First Choice Guest House. And you know, I thank God for all these great things. And God has given me the desire to build a city for Him since the year over 24 years ago. And I wrote it down. I make it plain. And God says, he will fulfill his desire. I waited for 24 years on God to manifest because God is a God that keeps his promise. And he has also given us, he has given to me seven acres of land. You know, and I use it for, the, for God's kingdom and for the church purposes. I, he gave me also four vehicles, all debt free, all free of every kind of loan, everything. God has demonstrated his power in my ministry, my wife and I, uh, Julie, who is one of my faithful partners in ministry, is also my, my secret weapon, and also my comfort after the Holy Spirit. And we have been doing this ministry for the past 29 years. I had the privilege to travel the world. I have traveled the world over 144 different countries. Been to the Caribbean countries, the America, I've been to, I've been to 31 states in America, preaching 31 states in America. I've been to Europe, China, Hong Kong, Sweden, Holland, France, Germany, just doing God's work. And God has kept his promise. Now, I have come back to my space in Trinidad and have started to build this city, success city. And God has demonstrated financial, financial release to the human race, mostly to the Hindus, the Muslims, people just giving and giving and giving. I know I have some members too as well, just love to give. I have some tremendous members in the church. I never ask for money, I don't ask for money, but God sent every dime and I'm doing this city debt free you know and i thank god it should be completed in the year 2023 that is the year that the completion will take place and i thank god for this this, this session what you're about to see is you, you you're about to see where i where our ministry started where we came from where we are and we'll be going i'll be showing you the birth the, the, the life 
and the, and the present and the future of our ministry. So sit back and I hope this, this, uh, this, this clip will be a blessing to your heart. Remember, I'm not asking for money. I want to inform you all where God is taking our ministry. And I have a saying, one man and God is an army. And God and one man could be everlasting. I thank God is God and I, not me and God. God select me and I'm doing this for the advance of his kingdom. So look at where we came from and I pray you will give God the glory with me and celebrate with me as we're doing this for God's kingdom. Again, I'm the host Calvin again, the founder of World Outreach Church Ministry and Paul Jim about Catholic Network. And I hope this will be a blessing to you. Praise God. T today we will take a, 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 a memory lane down the podium about Catholic Network. I started this network five years ago. Uh, the Lord gave it to me in 2000, 2015 to start this program because why? God knew the world will be controlled by COVID-19 and the churches will have to be closed down or either just abolished. So God gave me the insight to open this, uh, to start this, uh, this, this TV station. It's an internet-based TV station and it's around the whole world and Podium or Carter Network. It, it, it came on the scene just because God know that COVID-19 will change the church age. So I want to just take you down memory lane to show you where COVID-19 uh, has, has not been aired on the program every day, three times a day, and you will see all the artwork, all the work being done that produces all those series and teachings for the glory of God. Let's go to Podium Broadcast Network Studio. This is the studio that where all my all my taping, all my work, all my input. I have spent one million dollar here in pieces just by the wisdom and the ability God given to me. Just to create this this whole this whole network to go to the world. Is the whole world are seeing what's going on right here. Podium broadcast network. Is an internet-based TV station, TV and radio station that is bringing pure gospel right here from this office. And I, I know it may be a surprise to you, but this is a small area with a big vision. So you always you have to know where all this teaching and where it comes from. And I am the one that God gave me the insight and the ability how to put this together five years ago and today podium but cutting it with a life and i thank god for god he has all the glory we are in the studio of podium but cutting the talk i call this the action room the place they call the, where the angels shows up it is called the action room that where we can we get it out from here and i thank god it may look to you as nothing, but to me, the angels, they live here where the word of God is being presented. And we go live. It's live, live, live. No preempt, nothing at all. It's live work here, right here from the action room in Podium Broadcasting Network. I know that you don't, you don't believe, but this has been together five years. Five years ago, this has been put together with the expectation to triumph through COVID-19. So welcome again to the Action Room. Uh, right now we're in a sanctuary where minds are being reconditioned. God has built this sanctuary. We, we've been here for the past 15 years where people come and get the mind reconditioned. This is a place like a hospital where you get your mind fixed. It's a sanctuary that we built here 14 years ago. I built this building debt-free 
for six million dollars uh, 15 years ago and we come here four times a week just to get their mind fixed every new the way they call it have fellowship service but now the church have no walls so the church walls has come to a place now that where we no longer have to expect God to only show up in a building. And that is what I'm trying to get the whole world to understand. The church age has changed. We will use this building, but no one will come in God's house with their nose and their mouth covered. Whenever we come back in this sanctuary, this building is to be liberated and be free because Christ has set us free. This place, many souls have come with the Lord, many teaching, many minds get fixed, many marriages take place. Real great movement, miracle take place this year. And God has now willfully says, keep it closed and go on the marketplace the internet because the church today is the church without the world. You're in the sanctuary where things happen, but now we are in the marketplace. In this sanctuary, many great lives came out, many, many souls. At one time, all these folks were on fire for the Lord, but COVID-19 now has just deliberately reconditioned their mind. Now they're all outside now because why? They are now involved in the church without walls. And the church of the world is what God is using today. I advise you, get in the marketplace. This is the area here where, where the drug addicts used to house on six months program. You know, many great guys came out of here. Many guys came out back with their wives, back with their family. Some migrate and they all had an opportunity here. Let me hold five guys here on six months program. And we have three different areas. I also had a site on the next site. And drug addicts was my passion. But now, as the church has moved without walls, things are beginning to change. So I'm in the process now to build a facility right now to contain over a hundred persons at one time. Isn't God good? Oh, but I know the drug addicts have an opportunity to get their mind fixed. That issue worked for the past 15 years. God got the glory. Praise God. Right now, we are in the balcony of the restaurant, J and C's restaurant and takeaway and soup kitchen. As my wife and I, Julie and Carl, we are having this year for the public. We have having also internet, in internet food you can order online. This year was designed by God in my mind through vision. Vision is not just to have it, but vision is to see far. And I thank God for all those who have a vision from God, but you have to be able to see far. And I have seen this 14 years ago. It now come to pass. Uh, this area here can hold 65 people, table and chairs, dine at night, fully, fully, fully load, 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 loaded. I thank God that whatever He gave it to me, He has kept His word. You're in the balcony of J and C's restaurant. And I know uh, we are servicing an area a whole area of over, of over 9,000 people just built up a whole city next to me. And I thank God for vision. I saw that city before it was built and I prepared for it. Now as it's built now, I'm ready to service a city of 9,000 people plus 18,000 people around this, Asia, this, this area here. And my vision is to feed the area, not to make money, but to feed the area. And I have wisdom how to feed the area and at the same time, not to go after filthy lucre. I thank God as you are seeing. Vision is to see far. Right now we are in the car park area of JC's restaurant. And I know on the first day, the first day of January, we'll be opening here and I, I trust that you will be here. I know it's a, it's a vision and it come to pass. 
vision always comes to pass. JC's restaurant, Julie and Carl. And I thank God my wife. My wife is a part of what I'm doing. And I pray that we will be a blessing to the community of Pitti Valley and Virons. I thank God for all those who have contributed. My members who have contributed and support and encourage. But JC's restaurant and the Magnet Model Ministry vision has come to pass. Praise God. Remember, vision is to see far. We are now in the takeaway area of JC's restaurant. And this will be open from, from 7 to 7 every day. We're in the takeaway area. And we're having punch and drinks and everything. All for the public and environs of Pitti Valley. And I pray that this will be a blessing to all those who partake of this great delicacies. Professionally cooked, you know, by, by qualified cooks. I pray that God will see us through. We are in the takeaway. Vision is to see far. Our kitchen area fully loaded to cook, to cook food for 60 people at one time or ordering dishes and so on. Fully loaded area, our takeaway area in JC's restaurant. Now we are going now to the area of dining. Dining is for those who want to sit and eat. <laughs> we are in the area here. I pray that God will keep it full. It's an area here that only for people who is passing in, you cannot come in here and eat unless you want to dine. Uh, we have Italian food, French food, we have Spanish food, local food, you know, Mexican food, all these things will be sold here. And we are talking here, and this here is the wisdom, the wisdom room. The wisdom room is for people who have vision and people who want to be a part of vision. I pray that many people will pass through and receive from God. We build, I build this cash debt free, $1.8 million in nine months, debt free, no loan, nothing at all. And God is very good. And I thank God for all those areas here. The best place in any restaurant should be the restroom. Vision to see far. You are looking at the site of a, of a supermarket. A uh, supermarket that will be, will be used to service the area of Pitti Valley. This area here is a whole 100 by 100 feet square. And upstairs will be a TV and radio station. I thank God for vision. We are now complete our car park. And we have now, should be complete by, this should be complete by 2000 and 21 August uh, supermarket to feed the area because food are very expensive. My plan is to make food stuff affordable for the community of Pitti Valley because vision is to see far. And right now food prices are very high in our country, but God has given me a mandate and showed me how to receive more from him to feed the human race. You are at the site of JC's supermarket. And I thank God for it because vision is to see far. As you can see, it is still under construction. You know, we have reached now 65% complete of our supermarket. I have all the shelves in, all the, all the deep freeze, everything flying in from America because of vision. And you, you, you can see, we are now trying to complete it, hoping that we will have everything set before the month of, the month of August next year. But it, it's all a part of a vision, because vision is to see far. We are in the facility here of the, of the TV podium, Broadcasting Network Television. 
uh, what you see on the screen to podium will be here. It will be an interreaction uh, TV station. It is not a sit down and listen, but it is a sit down and interreact. Podium broadcasting network should be here sometime 2000, 2021. Uh, in the near future, we will be holding over 300 people at one time in a TV station. It's, it's, for, it's for a talk show. It's a talk show church. It's interreaction time. Not just come and sit down and one man talk. Everyone must participate. We will have all type of topics to discuss the human culture and the human nature because that is a part of the vision. Because the Lord told me the church without walls will never stop. But at the same time, we must have an interreaction TV station that people can get the need met and the voice heard. And all this is a part of vision. Remember, vision is to see far. This is quarters here, fully air conditioned, toilet and bath, everything all set for, for workers in the compound, those who choose to live in the compound, all for free. And I thank God that this is a part of the vision. And I hope, I hope, I hope that this has impressed you. And I, I hope that your prayers and encouragement is valid. Remember this, all this is a part of a vision and vision it's a steep fire. Tune in for our Nugget segment at 9 a.m. from Monday to Friday for compact revelation, short pitch statements with deep meaning. In a world where news never seems to be good, back to view from February, PBN's Gospel News. News that brings to you biblical concepts local and international. The latest coverage of God's people, you see it first on PBN. We make sure you get the right updates each time, every time. At 10 a.m. Monday to Friday, I am Rena Peer bringing you good news from Podium Broadcasting Network. Are you excited? Well, I'm excited. Get ready as I come to you with Boys to Men every day at 11 a.m. on Podium Broadcasting Network. With me, your host, Alex George. The word of God given to the man of God over 25 years ago. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, The young people have gone astray. The elders of this time have not been good examples. The church has not prepared for the attacks that shall come upon the young generation of this time. My people, I have chosen you to go forth and prepare a place that can gather my people together. And you shall speak that which I have spoken in your spirit, that they may fear me and do my will. It shall be a place that thy people shall have for all their possession, that which one shall enjoy in this life. It shall be a place that they learn spiritual warfare and obey my word and my will. My people, write it down. This day shall be the birth of thy vision. And I answered, Yes, Lord. Hey, this is Niobe. Hope you're locked in and ready for that fresh revelation with me at 4 p.m. sharp. One on one with Niobe 101. Don't miss it. 
Live Forever Increasing Voice Ministry. This is the teaching ministry of Carl and Julie Mead and has been braided over 20 years now and have bring changes to many lives. If you want your faith to grow and to starve your doubts to death, tune into these broadcasts on Podium Broadcasting Network, where we are getting the people heavenly ready. Hey, this is Niobe. Hope you're locked in and ready for that fresh revelation with me at 4 p.m. sharp. One-on-one with Niobe 101. Don't miss it. In a world where news never seems to be good, back to view from February, PBN's Gospel News. News that brings to you biblical concepts, local and international. The latest coverage of God's people. You see it first on PBN. We make sure you get the right updates each time, every time. At 10 a.m. Monday to Friday, I am Rena here bringing you good news from Podium Broadcasting Network. Hey, this is Niobe. Hope you're locked in and ready for that fresh revelation with me at 4 p.m. sharp, one-on-one with Niobe 101. Don't miss it. live forever increasing voice ministry this is the teaching ministry of carl and julie mead and has been braided over 20 years now and have bring changes to many lives if you want your faith to grow and to starve your doubts to death tune into these broadcasts on podium broadcasting network where we are getting the people heavenly ready